Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. Country 96.1, Fathead Candy Roth. I'm going to um, put the brand new Soresto collars on my three dogs today for ticks. You know what I mean? Yes, I do. Because Good for you. Well, it, a man with a plan. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> but I say, no, but that's a serious thing because this it is. Is tick, it's tick season. Just because you're stuck in your ass because of coronavirus, you got to remember the pets can get ticks, Candy. Yes, they can. So uh, today, yes, up to 63, and we have the new tick collars that will last them the year. So today they go on. I think I should put a collar around your neck. Yeah, well, you know what? If there was a collar to keep me safe from all diseases and all sicknesses. I'd wear it, too. Absolutely, I would wear it. I would also eat out of a bowl with only my face and sleep in a crate if it meant not getting sick, Candy. That Uh, is video to be seen, I'll tell you that. Did you hear... I know we got a lot of things to discuss today. Did you hear about the tiger at the Bronx Zoo getting coronavirus? I did not hear that. The tigers can get coronavirus? True story. CNN reported it yesterday. And I will tell you uh, a tiger by the name of, hold on, I'll give you the name, Nadia. Nadia, a tiger at the Bronx Zoo, has become... The first of her kind to test positive for coronavirus. Oh, my dear. That's Uh, terrible. The tiger developed a dry cough, and that is why they tested the tiger. Wow. Um, Now, the zoo is closed, right? The zoo is closed, but the animals still have to be taken care of. And someone who handles the animals was asymptomatic and allegedly passed it to the tiger. Oh, I see. Isn't that crazy? That is nuts. Yeah. So... A bunch so, of t- yeah, go ahead. I guess if she, if the tiger could get, I mean, I read about a case in China, the dog got it, but I haven't heard any more about that. Yeah, and weren't we under the impression dogs couldn't get it? Uh, first I thought that, then I read that article. I said, well, maybe they can get it. This is crazy. So uh, the, the five tigers actually started showing sy- uh, symptoms of respiratory illness and were tested and one of them came back positive and the zoo has been closed since March 16th by the way right Uh, so and it's just bizarre too besides the scary part of the oh oh my god now animals get it uh to me the first thing I thought of was really of all animals a tiger after Tiger King was out on Netflix and all this stuff going on with tigers but I can't believe uh I mean yeah people are there it's mind boggling now it is it is yeah uh, well, not sure. free the tigers, free everybody. Let's go. I'm well, done with this. Since we're on uh, some of the hard news here, Dr. Deborah Burks of the White House uh, Coronavirus Task Force is warning people the next two weeks are extremely important. Her quote, this is the moment not to be going to the grocery store and the pharmacy. That is her quote, Candy. This is I, the moment. That's what she, now, first of all, you got the mask, you got the covering, you need to go get your medicine, you need to go get something to survive, then you have to go get it. But uh, that is some statement that this is the moment. That Well, I'm glad I went Friday and got a lot of stuff, and then mm. we've decided that only one of us will now go to the store if we have to, and more than likely, it will be Brian. Absolutely. Uh, the only time my kids are even let out of the house is if they go to play outside or we get in the car to take a ride, just to take a ride, just to roll right. the windows I hear down. you. We did that the other day, and then we sat in the car and listened to some music just to have air and be out of the house for five minutes. That's right. Uh, CDC now officially recommends we all wear cloth face masks, Candy. Well, thanks. Isn't that a little too late? Agreed. We, we said this uh, six weeks ago. Um... Italy, France, and Spain all finally saw their daily fatalities drop in the past week. Yeah, we're going to come around this bend, too. That's that's good, too. Somebody says their predictive model sees the peak in the U.S. coming April 15th. Now, just because if it peaks April 15th, you know, it's still going to take six weeks to come down. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. Doesn't mean it's over. Um... Dr. Fauci says it's likely the virus becomes a seasonal occurrence like the flu. Wonderful. I don't get that. 
we're all going to die every season? What's well, happening here? The, there'll be there'll be vaccines, and we'll be more prepared uh, for it. I will get point. a vaccine for that. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, absolutely. Are you kidding me? And anyone in a small town who thinks they're immune, uh, there are clusters popping up in small towns in Arkansas, Mississippi, and South Carolina. Oh, Andy. you know that I heard eight states out of our 50 do not have any touch of this. Yeah, well, they'll get it eventually. Okay, all right. It, it's it's coming. Uh, there you go. There's some of the harder news from uh, the weekend with the coronavirus. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.